too, to actually be able to play on. Like, um, one really cool thing, I wish I would like thought of this before when I initially started building it I didn't realize but if you want to have these doors set up to slide out of here um, you, you need to not have anything on top of your doors so when you're planning out your board you need to plan it out so that all your doors are strategically in an area where there's nothing above them so you can slide them out like here I put this pipe above here but there's enough room that the door can come out first so you don't have to worry about the door getting blocked Otherwise, you're not going to want, I mean, if you magnetize it, it won't be as bad. Sorry, I can't really see anything. Um, if you magnetize it, it won't be as bad, but you don't want to have to be like lifting up floors and moving your board so that you get lifted up to remove the door out of there. So the best thing to do is put your doors in areas where there's nothing on top of it. So when you go to like, my last one's all the way back here. When you go to take them out, it takes two seconds and... You don't have to worry about that. You know what I mean? That's a huge little like tip right there. And then um, the lifts was another thing. Uh, right now, all my lifts are, I just, I don't have any more. I only have like um, one full set of it. So you get two of these lifts right here. And there's a top piece that you can glue on the lift or leave off. If you don't glue that on the lift, you can take two of these pieces and you just use one as the top, glue it on. And then you take the same piece without the top on it and put that on the bottom and the lift is now two levels so i glued both of mine for now which that's okay because i know i'm gonna have two sets i'm gonna do another one uh so both of mine are already tops and then they're magnetized so when i get my other two i'm not gonna glue them on the bottom but i'm gonna leave the tops off of them so they'll always be my bottoms but essentially i could put the two bottoms on one top and i could have a three level lift uh, or whatever so um, but again, you know, I just try to like think ahead of like what's not only like functional now, but practical in the future and everything. Um, but that is a cool little thing about those lifts I noticed is you can make them like, you know, compatible for either two levels or one. Uh, if you just leave off the top on the second set you have. Um, and then what else, man? There's a lot of cool stuff. I definitely want to work on this spiral stairway um, next. I'm looking forward to that. And I have some more stuff uh, coming shortly. So I will be able to expand this because essentially what I wanted to do was um, I want to get this board painted up as soon as possible so we can get playing on it and get some battle reports and everything uh, as well as the uh, as well as the gangs. But in the meantime, um, while we're kind of sorting it out, you know, I basically wanted to get it to a point where it's pretty like, you know, like decent size before I start painting it because I like to do things in like big batches. So I don't mind if everything doesn't match and I'll add on like a couple other things along the way. But I wanted to do like a big batch paint job where essentially I can take all the pipes and I can spray like all the metallic stuff in like silver or whatever and then go through and I wash it and, and dry brush it or whatever I'm going to do with all that stuff. Paint in like the plasma part of the conduits. But I go do like all that at once and then I can do all my pillars at once. And I was thinking about with the pillars what I'm going to do is... Um, I think what I'm going to do is, and this was just, I'm just trying to think of ideas to make it cool because over time, this stuff's going to get moved and changed around and the directions and the facings of everything's going to get changed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two sides of the pillar, whether they're next to each other or opposite, but I'm going to have two sides that are painted uh, like one color, whatever color it is, say like brown. And then I'm going to have one side that's gray and one side that's blue. And all my pillars will be like that. Uh, just when I'm painting it through I'll just paint randomly and then as they're on the board and get mixed around everything will kind of have the weathered look to it so it'll look like it kind of matches or whatever but there'll be different colors and things will get switched and uh, you know there'll be like kind of a randomness to the board so but I'm probably gonna do something like that I haven't completely decided on the color scheme uh, or how I want to do it I don't want to do like the columns or the pillars painted metallic I'll maybe do the top pieces in like metallic, like gunmetal or something like that, uh, or lead belcher rather. Um, but I don't want to do the sides because I just think it'll be too much. Uh, it's the same reason I didn't want to do the floors in metallic and I chose to do like kind of like a drab, uh, you know, like a military green or, or you know, gunmetal y type look. Um, I didn't want it to be too metallic because it's too much on a big board like this and you look at it and it's just all metal and then there's like gold highlights and copper and it's just it's too much for your eye to see so i wanted to do like kind of like a washed out like old faded paint 
on all the pillars and then we can have like some metal highlights here and there but i don't want like i don't want a ton of like super bright stuff um you know that's taking your eye away the idea will essentially be when all the models are like laid out on here you know you get to see uh you know then they stand out and then the background kind of fades and it looks like the old like necromunda sort of like how this is you know it's colorful back here and it has a little bit of detail to it but it kind of fades off to the background and your eye focuses on this so once this is painted it'll draw your eye away from these colors even more and the same thing with the models if the models are like super bright and everything and like you know have that extra pop to them it's going to draw your 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 eye to the models a lot more than say like you know the washed out like rusty terrain and that's essentially the goal is same with the board itself you know you can see like the designs painted on the board and if you look at the tutorial you can see like the skull and the red but when all the terrains on here and everything you know it all just fades into nothing like matter of fact i think if you were even looking down from above or looking around at this board you might not even see like the pattern and what's going on until someone like mentioned it to you but now when you go to play your actual games like this red circle and the deployment line and everything that saves you from ever having to measure anything so that's huge like that was definitely one of the biggest improvements uh or biggest whatever like things we did on this board to get it started so um but i think what i'm actually planning on doing is i like the way the board is positioned like like uh the direction north south east west basically but um as far as actual terrain this thing is the tallest part of like the board and it's right where my left arm is and I always am hitting it and knocking it over when I'm trying to do any of these. So I think what I want to do is I want to shift the whole thing um, like 90 degrees basically. So this part will be in the back corner there. This part would be in the back corner there, etc. So this thing will still be kind of like out of the way over here. Um, but I won't have anything tall. I'll have this area right here where I'm at. And then this area, it's all like low stuff too right here. So I think it'll be a better camera angle overall um, for the board. But then also like I won't be like knocking this thing all the time. And it's not like all up in my way. Because uh, I do love this spiral staircase to be. But man, is it in my way. Um, but this piece right here is... I was like just about to say how I really want to glue this. Because it's always... Um, it's like the number one pain in my butt piece. Um depending what you decide to do with your stairs I didn't glue anything really yet with them uh, I still left them so you can switch them around but now I mean I've already confirmed I'm definitely doing like the spiral staircase so I might as well go ahead and glue some of this stuff but I'm not right now um, I'm still leaving it I will in the very near future uh, but again I just didn't want to like pull the trigger on it like uh, prematurely I did move some of this stuff around because initially when I was planning out how to do uh, spiral staircase I didn't realize like what footprint it was gonna have initially so if you have this pillar and I didn't even realize I was gonna put a pillar in between it to, to tell you the truth but if you have this and you take like the pillar you put it in the middle the spiral staircase is gonna take up nine spaces the central one it doesn't actually take up any of but the staircase itself goes around it takes up three and then it goes the whole distance around like essentially just connects to itself where it started but three-dimensionally so it's going to be nine spaces and it's going to have four uh, of the flat squares that it needs so um, just a heads up you know I didn't realize that initially so when I had it spaced I had it spaced a little differently and then I ended up not having enough room for it so um, and that's why it's important really to you know I really did want to expand a lot on this and uh, you know build on it a lot before I started gluing stuff and that's where magnetizing has helped a ton too because I don't have to worry about stuff. And I have made a ton of changes to this board just since I did that video yesterday. It's like, I mean, it's nuts. I, I got so much done on this thing. And, you know, honestly, it was a lot of work, but not a lot more added components. Like the pipes and the placement of the pipes, I think, have exponentially improved this board. Because if you take away the pipes right now, um, if you take away like all the conduits, including the one that comes with the starter set, the board, it feels so much more naked and there's so much less to it. Um, but when you put them up here, even though you're probably not going to interact with a lot of this like higher up stuff, it just adds a ton to the board and gives it like, you know, just this one random guy sticking up or whatever, just gives it like, you know, a lot of extra depth to it. And, uh, you know, that's what I was really going for with this board because, you know, I have a lot of like, uh, 
games on outdoor boards and a lot of like big gothic terrain and all that stuff but we really want to get like the legit feel for like the close quarters combat um, especially with the two uh, gangs that come in the set um, I'm gonna be playing the enforcers and my brother's gonna be playing uh, the uh, corpse grinders and uh, which is super convenient because uh, you know he's always been a huge cork corn fan and it was just funny that of course it's like the corn corpse grinders and I'm like which one do you want to play and he's like uh, I'll take these guys I'm like of course you do guess I'll be the cops uh, maybe we'll be dirty cops though I don't know we'll see I guess everybody's dirty in the underhive but uh you know this these games I mean we just had to make sure that the board was going to be like fun and balanced and everything uh because they corpse grinders don't have a ton of shooting so um I want to make sure that the board was set up uh, in a way that it wasn't like overly advantageous to the shooters or the hand-to-hand -hand combat and then honestly we're going to be playing a lot of kill team on this board as well like like the same board um we're probably going to leave the configuration like for a while the equivalence of like a season and play on that uh and same thing with like kill team but then 